In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can view the results of your Google Form. So I'm already in my Google Drive. I'm going to go to Recent. And I'm going to look at a different form this time because I want to show you one that already has some people that have filled it out. So I'm going to go to my Thing 1 verification form. And whenever someone fills it out, it'll show over here, you'll have responses, and it'll show you the number of people that have filled it out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Responses. And this is just kind of a summary of the responses I've received so far. You can change it to individual responses if you want to see them. It'll show you their name and all the information. You can also print these. Most likely you don't want to print all your responses in this form with the individual responses, but you can also go to Summary. And I thought you could print that, but I guess not. But the cool thing is it also shows you some neat graphs. And when you're done with your form, you can always turn it off by turning the Accepting Responses. You just click on this and it'll turn it off. You can also set it up so you get email notifications anytime someone fills out the form. I would recommend that um, just because it's kind of nice to know when someone's filled it out. Although if you're doing a summer reading registration, you might be getting 10 or 20 notifications every day and you may not want that. So that's up to you. You can also, oh, there's the print all responses. You can also download all the responses and put it into a spreadsheet or a CSV file. You have another option here where you can create a spreadsheet. and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. Most of the time you'll want to create a new one. You can merge it with an existing one, but most of the time you'll want a brand new one. So it'll automatically name it for you. You can change that if you want to. I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm going to click Create. And then it'll open the spreadsheet for you and you'll be able to see it. Then you'll have timestamps. It'll show their names and their other information in a spreadsheet. Then you can do whatever you need to do with that. I would recommend that to keep things a little bit more organized that you create folders to put your forms into. So maybe you might want to create a summer reading form folder and then put your summer reading 2016 form in there and also put the spreadsheet in there with it. And I can show you how that works just a second. So to create a folder you'll just go over here and go to new and go to folder. And I'm going to call mine thing one. You most likely would be calling your summer reading forms or whatever. I'm going to call it thing one forms. Click Create. And this is always a tough part because sometimes you can't find your form. So I'm going to go up here and search for Thing 1, or find your folder, sorry. I'm going to find the Thing 1 Forms folder and open it. And what I'm going to want to do is move my folders here. So I'm going to go back to my drive. Sorry, this is kind of a roundabout way to do it. I'm going to go to Recent. I'm going to select these two files and you can use the control key to select multiple ones at the same time. Then I'm going to click move to and I'm going to move them to a folder. So I'm what I'm doing is clicking on my drive. I'm going to click the key over here. Then I'm going to find my thing one forms folder. There we go. I'm going to click move and then it moves them there. So I can also go find the folder again and see my form is there and also my spreadsheets in there. So that's a little easier way to organize them because Google Drive can get a little overwhelming if you just have everything in there just kind of like on your desktop. If you dump everything on your desktop it's hard to find what you're looking for. Another thing I wanted to mention is that when anyone ever fills out your form, the spreadsheet and the responses will automatically update. So you don't have to refresh the spreadsheet, spreadsheet excuse me, or anything. It'll automatically update itself.